Hi all, I'm Age from Liquid Earth, a channel all about video and photography. Today, we're gonna to look at five creative ideas for your DJI gimbal, or any gimbal for that matter. Creative effect number one is hyperlapse. Don't take a boring 20 minute video walking around a place. Even Granny doesn't wanna see that. I'm using follow mode, choosing hyperlapse, then I can tap and hold to focus and adjust the exposure by dragging up and down. Press record and off we go. As we get closer, because I'm in follow mode, I'm tilting up. And then as I walk backwards, I'm tilting back downwards. Press and hold the trigger. It will lock it in place and keep it nice and steady. Here's how it came out. I tried a couple of different options. Here I walked around the turret instead. And here's how it came out. Clone me is a feature in the pano options. Choose that and it's going to guide you to take three pictures of your beautiful self. Position it on a tripod or use your mini stand. It will take the first picture and automatically move to the second position. Bonus tip, make sure you pull your pants up. Once it's taken three pictures, it's going to quickly stitch them all together for you and create this nice little pano effect. Creative effect number three is the crane shot. This is where you start low and go high usually. You can do it the other way around. You can attach your gimbal to a tripod or a light stand so you can get some real height on it. Get these creative effects so above the bridge and below under the water. Or you can flow it out in front of the water. I like to film in slow motion because then you get the option to either play it back in normal speed or slow motion afterwards. Try them both out and see which is best. Or just use the little stand that comes with your gimbal. Try not to stumble. And then move in and up. So I'm focusing on the scene by tapping and holding about 10 foot or so in to get everything in focus, apart from the very closest objects. Then we'll start really low and we'll move up and in and play it back in both speeds to see what's best. So here's the version in normal speed, comes out alright, and here's the exact same clip in slow motion. I think I actually prefer the slow motion version on this one. In this version I let the camera do the focusing, so when I got really close it focused on the close objects, but then as soon as you go up it focuses on the whole scene to bring everything into focus, so you get this pull focused effect. Creative effect number four is the diner zoom. Choose that from your menu and then you can either walk in or walk out. So choose one of the options, drag around your subject and then you're literally either walking in or walking out depending on the option you've chosen. And this gives you the effect that the subject stays the same size and the background gets larger if you're moving out. So the opposite to what you would expect. Or if you walk forward, the background gets further away. This is really tricky, I usually have quite a few attempts. You can see the background can get quite shaky at times. But with a few attempts, you normally get one good one that you can use, but it's quite a different, unusual effect. Here's one that I was more successful with. Creative effect number five is story mode. DJI have done a good job here. You've got the story mode option that you can choose, and there's loads of different templates. And what it does is it takes you through a series of little mini clips and then stitches them all together with music and all of the transitions and effects and some titles on some of them as well. So there's lots to choose from. Have a look through the templates. Choose one that you like the look of. It'll give you a little preview. And then at the bottom, you've got these little squares and that's how long each little clip is. There's normally only three or four clips. So this first one's 2.7 seconds. Press record and it will record through the first clip and then automatically go on to the next one for you. You can retake any at any time. Once it's all done, it's going to automatically give you the option to save that. It will stitch the scenes together into a mini movie with professional sound effects and titles. And all you have to do is share it. And here's my bonus tip. Yes, it's the legal requirement for YouTubers. You've got to have a bonus tip. Slow motion, not really an effect at all in the DJI, but these series of clips I use mainly slow motion and get some good cinematic effects, so give it a go.
No ping pong balls were harmed in the making of this video. And no special equipment, just a couple of lamps in the garden. I've got lots more DJI tutorials, just click the link here on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care.